puts a total. So, 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 so now I've got uh, the, the total column, maybe on this one, I wanna take the average. So notice I hit the drop down and say, take the average, which is taking the uh, average of these columns, which comes out to 50%, pretty close, right? Or if I wanted to see it with decimals, it's not exactly 50, but it's pretty close. And so this is gonna be 50 and the difference, if I sum up the difference, uh, we've, we've got a difference of of 33%. It's kind of a interesting. But in any case, let's go back up top. I'm going to make IQ skinny. And then we could make a histogram of the results we got, right? So these are all the results we got. We could say, let's make that into a histogram. Let's insert a... Uh, you know, I'm going to select this data, insert and then charts and graphs, a histogram we've seen in the past. So now you've got a histogram that looks, you know, kind of, kind of like what we would expect, right? The center point is around the 50%. And the, from the results we have, we see the spread that's starting to build up, like kind of like what, you know, what you might expect uh, when, you, when you basically run the tests. Now, if, if I was to do this, like I could do this whole thing again, and then come up with a different histogram and see see you know what the difference would be if I ran you know the test multiple times right so I could for example go back to my my uh, data and see if I could double click on it so it so it will reshuffle so now I've reshuffled my data and let's just build it one more time right so if I take this whole thing and I copy. Let's do it from AS. I'm hopefully I'm hopefully the whole sh table shuffled when I double click on it, and then I'm going to go from AS all the way to to uh, to EO. Right click, copy, and then let's just imagine that we build this out uh, again. So I'm going to go all the way to the right and just do it again. So we'll go all the way over here. And I'm all the way over in BJ, right click, paste it, one, two, three. So now we have uh, just the numbers and then I could format them. I'm gonna select the whole header. I'll do this faster because we've seen it before. Selecting the headers. I'm gonna make the header black and white. I'm gonna center it and wrap the text while I'm here. And then I'm gonna select all of the data and we'll make that all of the data blue and bordered so font group border and my the blue and then i'm going to say this is going to be heads and by the way i could just copy my results over here so the it's going to be the same formulas as my dark blue so why don't i just copy this whole dark blue thing and it'll calculate the same thing on the bottom of my second one. So I'll just copy this whole thing. Say copy that. And bring it on over to the results. And I'm in uh, BJ77 and paste it. So everything looks like it's going properly. So now we've got another set of results. So now let's do the same thing, copying the heads. I can go to the heads here and say, we'll just select all of them. I'm gonna transpose them going up top. I'll start in NB, right click, pasting just the values and then right click and copying, pasting in NA, right click special so that I can transpose, making a column from them, deleting all of this stuff, which are no longer necessary. So we'll delete that. We can insert our table. I could say insert uh, table and boom. And then I can make the whole thing home tab number percents. And then I'm gonna delete this tab, right click and delete. 
make this smaller and then let's insert a histogram insert histogram so here's my second histogram running a whole nother set of 100 tests at 75 and you can see it's close but it's not exactly the same as the histogram we had over here so if i copy this histogram and i put it down here again let's just i just want to test that it looks the same copy this histogram and put it to the right here so you've got two histograms that are quite similar but you can see they're not exactly the same uh, when we run our two tests So this one, they have different buckets that they've built on the buckets as well, but you have a similar kind of shape to them, but not exactly the same. All right, and then next, we just want to say, well, what if we had an unfair coin, like the coin was was not fair? Well, well how can we kind of represent that? Well, we could say, let's just, let's just test that out and say we we're going to have the tests, the test over here, I've got caps locks on tests. And let's say that we do the same thing, one, two, and bring it up to 75 or 74, uh, 74 tests right there. I'll center that. And then on, on the actual tests, test one, we'll do the same random equals random between and then I'm gonna say between one and three this time. So we'll imagine this time that uh, one is a heads, and if it's not a one, which means it's gonna be a two or a three, it's tails, right? So one's head, so now it's an uneven coin. It's gonna land more on tails, right? So that's one way that we can kind of simulate uh, using, our, using our random function, an uneven coin, right? You can imagine different ways that we might try to uh, get the coin weighted unevenly. So it's a three. So if it's a two or a three, it's tails, right? And then I can copy this across test. We'll do this a little bit faster because we've seen it before. Test two. I'm going to copy these two. I'll bring that out to a, what do we have? A hundred tests to a hundred over here. 100 tests. And I'll make this into a table so I don't need to format the headers maybe. And then I'll go all the way back on over and I'm just going to copy this down, copy this down.